Hey everyone, today we'll be unboxing the latest addition to the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Cameras family 6K G2 and we'll be comparing it with the 4K version that we have in our studio and with the 6K Pro that we're looking to get before the generation 2 came out. Inside the box you'll find a welcome brochure, a medium sized sticker, an activation key for DaVinci Resolve Studio, international adapters for the power supply, the power supply itself with a locking mechanism, a battery, a strap, not sure who uses those, a battery charger, and a micro USB to USB cable for the battery charger. And here comes the big boy himself, Blackmagic Design Pocket Cinema Camera 6K G2 or BMPCC 6K G2. I do like the tilting feature of the 5 inch touchscreen display, makes it easier to film. You can tilt up up to 90 degrees and down for about 45. It seems sharper than the 4K one and I like the slightly improved design of the menu. The darker grays and rounded corners make it look more elegant. It comes with two XLR mic lines with phantom power matching the 6K Pro version. The Super 35 HDR sensor makes all the difference when you're shooting with a shallow depth of field. I'm looking forward to trying this out and comparing it with a 4K camera that comes with a 4 3rd size sensor. You have an option to shoot up to 60 frames per second in 6K or up to 120 FPS in HD. The 13 stops of dynamic range with dual native ISO up to 25600 should provide stunning low noise images in all light conditions. Just like in the 4K version, you have three storage options, CFast, SD card or an external SSD via USB-C. The camera boots up pretty fast, it's ready to shoot in under 3 seconds. Just like the 6K Pro model, 6K G2 comes with a bigger battery, with approximately 1 hour runtime on one charge. You can also get a battery grip and add two more for a total of 3 hours. When you place the 6K G2 next to the 4K, you can see the size difference. It's taller and deeper by 1 inch, but it's pretty much the same in width. It's also twice heavier, with a bigger hand grip, a little bit too big for my hand. As you can see, on the bottom of 6K G2 camera, there are two mounting threads. And you can also attach a viewfinder to 6K G2 for an extra $495. And here is a short summary of pros and cons that I've noticed between the 6K G2 and 4K Blackmagic pocket cameras. I do recommend getting one of the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema cameras. Which one to get? 4K, 6K G2 or 6K Pro? Depends on what features you need for your projects. Thank you for watching.